Morning all. Let's have one or two uh, five minute games this morning. Yes, I'm, my mood for five minute has has kind of returned. Maybe uh, <laughs> e- examining games from London Classic um, has put me in the mood more for playing rather than studying. I think there's a balance uh, in chess, um, you know, between playing, studying uh, all the time. And uh, okay, so. Uh, Five minute auto pairing, which title players are on. Ah, two, four, six, three. Okay, um, I could could stick with my guns, main guns, Morris Smith. All right. Uh, okay, um, Bishop C four here. So this this could be handy for two. Remember, ah. Oh. It is. It is now a gambit again. Okay. I'll try and overprotect e5 in any case. There's a strong point to try and make the most out of this this gambit. I think this is mentioned um, in my book on the Morris Smith uh, gambit. Uh, Mayhem in the Mora. Uh I suspect it's mentioned. So if I keep that as a strong point. Black's um, hopefully got a slightly difficult position here. Um, okay, if I play a3, or he's not doing anything in particular at the moment. What about knight b5 to d6? Try for that. Try and get something on a7 here if I want it. Then I can go back if I want to get my pawn back. I can nab a7, which weakens b6. I'll go for that. Surely he'll want to castle uh, at some point. If he takes on b3, well, I get the c4 square. And knight d6 looks a bit tasty. Try and get that dark square bishop. Mind you, bishop c2 there would have been nice to point out his king. On the other hand, this control of c4 might be useful, and this darts by bishop. I right, didn't want that anyway. Okay. Uh, so, question: Can I just take on c4 here and drive this guy away before it munches d6? Then, can I play? I don't know, knight e5, or have a bishop e2, queen b2, bishop e5 rather, or bishop c1 to b2? What about this? Is that interesting? To try and get onto this diagonal. Okay. Um, maybe I need to keep control of uh, c2 here. And also e5 is going to drop. So bishop b2 is f6. No, there's queen e6. So maybe knight c2, bishop b2. Uh, yeah. That might be okay. Uh, queen f6, bishop b2. Okay. I think I'll create a weakness anyway, unless this forcing move does anything. Don't really think it does. So, anyway, I've got a weakness out of him. Um, stick on around on d6 and f6. Aha. Uh -huh. He's doubling my pawns. Can I do anything better than that? Um, the rook d4, there's knight c2, rook g4, knight one rook g7, that's dangerous. That might be worth a shot to, to invite knight, knight c2. This g file generally. Is it play knight c2? Rook g4, knight a1, rook g7. Uh, then rook f7, rook g8. There's rook takes f6 there. Rook takes rook f8, double checkmate. That shows that's, that's potentially quite dangerous, rook g4. On e5, maybe rook d5, knight c2, rook c1. Alright, so with rook g4, maybe this isn't so bad. There's d4 coming up. Um, I'll kick this guy. Do I want to? What about just rook g6 here? Doesn't that crash through with bishop f6 to follow? Check. Check. 
Well, bishop f6, queen d7. Um, isn't there? Well, there's perpetual checks as well. Let me taking for uh, take queen d7. Check there. King g8. That's mess mating because of check over there, isn't it? Check king g8, queen h8, and then queen g7 after. Unbelievable. A two four six three <laughs> That puts me on twenty two ninety. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. This this guy's a bit of a monster rating. Oh unbelievable. He lost there. He's been playing bullet. He just beaten Tacticus and Rainmaker. I mean Tacticus is a GM. Oh man, I think I this is this is this has been uh <laughs> first game this morning and I don't know <laughs> okay interesting um okay uh <laughs> I, I'm stunned I'm stunned I'm stunned um let's, let's have a look at this game again I'm just I'm just I'm just feeling a bit stunned uh, by this win, I, I didn't really expect that. I thought I'd, I'd just have a good, good fight, but um, it, it is five-minute chess. You know, anything can really happen in five-minute chess. So I took time to win a7. He didn't win b3. Okay, now this started to be a bit dangerous for him. He's creating some weaknesses. So this rook shift, offering a rook sacrifice here with knight c2. Basically, so rook g4, knight takes. I think this is quite yeah. dangerous. So here he can't go king f8. That pawn's helping because rook g8, uh, uh, and then queen g7 to follow. Uh, so if, if we go back, so what I thought was king h8, rook f7 here is strong. If threatening queen g7, if rook g8, I thought this is quite good. Now for here, double check Checking. and mate. So that that was not bad, I think. If that really does work. Uh, so in the game continuation, he's just letting me sack on on g6. It's it's fairly check. straightforward check. here, as long as I see that this check movement on queen d7. Check. Uh, this pawn is really really helpful for a mating net. Check. Uh, to stop. Well, it's not even needed there that pawn on king f7. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.